Hi, welcome to Landsake. I am Pam Hess, the executive director here of this amazing community farm. It's hard to believe the farm has been here now for over 42 years, and it seems like every year there is so much that is changing. In the last several years, we've gone from having no year-round water, no power, and no indoor space, to launching a capital campaign and actually raising the resources to put in power and water and to build this magnificent barn behind me. And now we're working on our phase two. Why do we need that? We need to go from a seasonal barn that will eventually house our animals for our programming to a year-round farm stand that will have a demonstration kitchen so we can show you how to actually cook your vegetables. We'll have a root cellar, a cooler, and a wash station that will allow us to not only grow our food, but also maintain it and wash it so it stays longer. It's fresher when it gets on your table and fresher to those in need. And we'll be able to do more community events. We can cook together and bring us all together to celebrate this land. I am thankful to be part of this community and I hope you will work with us and grow with us. Hi, I'm Kevin Sullivan, I'm the president of Payette, um, the architecture firm that's working on the projects at Landscape. As an architect, I, I uh, really was taken by the idea of this project, mainly for a number of reasons. This beautiful, beautiful site, an incredibly compelling program that will really help bring the community together. In citing these um, buildings, we've really tried to preserve the infinite vista, which ex allows um, the eye to sort of extend from the front of the site to the back of the site without really the structures um, interfering in that relationship, which is, which is one of the really key things to the farm. So we've taken great care to site the buildings nestled amongst the trees, below the tree line, and um, in, a, in a very sensitive way. Uh, these projects are gonna be net zero. You're gonna see uh, little clues of modernity, such as solar panels and things like that, that signify that this is a sustainable building structure, but in terms of their materiality, uh, they should really nestle into the natural landscape and not stick out and blend with the natural tones and woods and textures. Hi, I'm Brynja Smarason and I'm the co-chair of the Grow With Us Capital campaign with my husband, Hannes. It's been an honor to help Landsig raise the funds needed to improve the infrastructure and to secure a more sustainable future for the farm. And we are so thankful for all the leadership donors and the Western community who have given so generously to the campaign. We have raised 4.6 million and now we only need 1.4 million to complete the second phase. Please join our family of supporters and help us grow.